Welcome to Trading Lounge and the daily US stocks for Friday, October the 8th. So I just want to start with the NASDAQ first, um, just gives us a little bit of perspective. So as I mentioned uh, yesterday, we would I would turn bullish if I see that the 15,000 has got a nice support on it with a classic trading levels pattern. And that means that we would need, well, the arrival the reaction which we're kind of seeing now a little bit and the first high above the level and then we would need a sort of ABC correction here and then a push up so um, in that case we can look to go long uh, above here that would be the normal thing to do but also too I think that um, we just got to be very careful about calling a low in here at the moment because there's a few reasons um, first of all just allow this to play out with this particular pattern here because I think that it will find um, it as resistance but as a trader we need to put the trader hat on and we need to look at that as a classic trading levels pattern there as a as a long trade as well so we're kind of just here at the moment we've had a bit of a reaction if that's the 15,000 we've had a bit of a reaction um, I still expect the market to push up here even though it's corrective <clears throat> and then uh, you know the, the, over here we'll find out if we need to be long or short so you've got to be a little bit careful but that high there is always the easiest thing so um, maybe in the futures market in the off hours we'll see you know Asia push up and Europe push up and the the the, the S&P and the DAX uh, NASDAQ will will push up and give us that high there but once that's in play anything above that we can go long at that point um, but you have to let it fold back and you have to let it go through the process and and find support over here now you may be able to get you know if you can't figure it out you take that one or you take the second high or you may be able to get in here a little bit closer um, but be careful about buying below the level because you could get trapped at that point you want the market to prove to you that it is strong by taking out a particular high and also being above you know a level and a, we've got a good level here of, of the 15,000 at this point okay so we really need that sort of set up there for for that um yeah i mean i can call the low in it's not like not like a problem because i can just look at this here as we've got five waves here one two three four five here we can call the a wave the b wave and the c wave here for for the y here and then just start, start counting you know a positive thing up through here but i just really you know this i just need to be sure that's all so um because the other point too is these wave fours haven't really reached their targets either so that's that's sort of on my mind that's why i'm thinking that we can go lower and as as we know uh, as i've mentioned that we are working in groups of three so we've got a single zigzag here we've got another uh zigzag here we're looking at a zigzag here uh and so on so uh we need to be you know we just need to be careful because yeah we're just working in groups of three and i know the market looks bullish um but yeah let's just give it a bit of time at this level here so let's just wait for that that said let's move on to the stocks and the first one is is amazon so it's also uh, continued that move up there but the move up there that it's done in the last session is much smaller than the session before it hasn't found support on group one so major level uh, 3000 then one two and three here make up group one we don't have support on there it's, it is trading above the level but um, it's not you know I wouldn't recognize it as support at this early stage anyway um, so yeah um, as i mentioned yesterday obviously it's just reacting also reacting from the previous low here as well so i just didn't think that we should give it some time and like i said these wave fours haven't really pulled back to their previous wave fours so based on that we just need to be a little bit careful i can see you know all the reasons to turn bullish um but also too we don't have we don't have five waves up in in a lot of these stocks and uh, indices we've only got we're only looking at the third wave up at the moment so we need to get past that as well we'll have a look at the 
tick chart here. We've been looking at this as a wave four and I'll just stay with that until it plays out. But it's the same thing here again as well. We've got an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. Yes, we could call that wave three up here and then we'll come back for wave four and then wave five. But as I mentioned, uh, anything past this, well, in this case, this top here, we can look at this as a little one and two in here and then a three and four folding here. So I'm still expecting another high to come in. So that high can become our reference point at that, at that stage and we can go long from that point, but this is where it can fold over and roll over at this point. So a little bit of caution, uh, Google here, coming up for this trend line, this market's also working in groups of three from wave X here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, which I can call the A wave and then an A wave and a B wave uh, and a C wave. I could rearrange that uh, differently as well uh, in that it's probably not such a bad idea to do that as well, probably a better fit. And I can call the low in there as well, because when you think about it, we've got an A and a B and a C wave here, and then the X wave, and then an A and a B and a C here. So we could have that as wave Y uh, in that in that space, you know? But I'm gonna put that there and that there. <clears throat> so there's, there, you know, you can view it in, in different ways, but uh, once again, I want this top to reconcile and finish, and I wanna see if we're gonna push up from that point um yeah i'm sorry it's so difficult and you know i could you know i know a lot of you feel that it's bullish and, and i could put that low in there but yeah i just i don't know i'm I, i'm not just i'm not convinced you know what i mean i can see what you're seeing but i'm not i'm not convinced um so i need a really good setup to uh to, to pull that off um, Apple uh, here so yeah the rally here just the same sort of uh, thing as well we're still looking for it to move down lower it wasn't like it was you know this is one of the top stocks uh, on the net it didn't really move up much did it really for that session so I do, you know and it's been sold off so I do think we need to be a little bit mindful of all of this um, but yeah I mean shit who hasn't been wrong before you know um, so where are we over to the tick chart <clears throat> sometimes you know i know what's going on other times i don't um so with this here let's just bring in a bit more where are we 200 so i was looking at this here as a, a slight change like i changed um alphabet and google then so wave x here i've got down one two three four five for the a wave the b wave and the c wave i was looking at it as a triangle but it's gone too high but so i've got to go this way with it an a and a b and a c for the a wave an a and a b and a c for the b wave here that's coming off a little bit more than i thought that it would do but let's just check on that so from this little wave two here that's the 38.2% retracement level at that point. So but still, oh, maybe we could look at that as one and two and three and four and five, maybe. Anyway, we know where that is. We don't want it drifting much lower than that. So maybe I need to put that there. Is that the high there? Probably not. It makes a nice ABC pattern for that, doesn't it? And that looks like sort of one, two, three, four, five. It looks like it wants to really come down a bit further, you know? Let me just double check this here. That low's below that low, isn't it? So, yeah, so we have to call that wave two, that's okay. That's one and two, one and two. Could I put all that as one and two? Um, one, two, three, 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 four, five. I think that's all okay. I think that's good to go. But either way, I was sort of looking for two more little highs here. I'll just need to straighten these up a little bit. We could just have one more high, but it just feels like this is just a bit extra there. So this one, this one, and this one. So coming into group two here before sort of moving down I mean, obviously, I'll, 
have to move these around again as well. It's just a matter of pushing them around to you kind of get that five waves. I mean, maybe this wave three could sit over here for that. Kind of looks like it, but it just looks a little bit short on the structure there. So I'll just leave that. So the takeaway here is that um, we're going to see the market move higher. We just need to sort of allow it to do that. And yeah, it'll be the ending stages as you know, in all trends, there's a bit, there's the beginning, there's the middle, and then there's the ending process. It's quite a large ending process. Maybe there's just one more little high here. Let's just have a look at some of the other stocks. Uh, Square. So Square's um, bumped up. So uh, we're kind of expecting that yesterday. So that's sort of okay-ish. Let me just think. I just still feel this correction is just too small. <clears throat> you know, when I look at the previous correction that we went through, the A wave, the B wave and the C wave, that's quite big, you know. So we would expect this correction here to be bigger than this one. That would just be normal. I can't view this as up for one here, an A and a B and a C back for two here because... Um, as a wave two, we should it should be a zigzag of five three five structure. So we should have five waves here. Well, we've got five waves in here. Then we've got a correction. Then we've got another three here. So if it was going to be a wave two, that should have pushed up from that point. But now it's got three waves here. So that's not what you get in a wave two. So we're in a wave four. It's just that you know it all looks a bit bullish, doesn't it? <clears throat> and that's why, I mean, I understand that, but that's why I say that we just need to be a little bit careful because I think this is going to get a bit more complex yet. It's just not big enough. Um, yeah, so still, um, yeah, if I was going to turn bullish, I'd need to see an impulse wave up through here, five waves. Uh, I need to see a nice trade set up on here. I just feel that we need to allow it to play out so we just don't get sucked in and, and burn, you know. That's how I feel about this at the moment. So um, 100 ticks. Let's bring in a bit more data. Is five enough? Five is plenty. So we've got five in this move coming down through here. So let me just double check. One and two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, the third wave. Let's have a closer look at that, I think. That's five waves. One, two, three, four. Well, maybe we could put that as a wave four. It's rather high and it overlaps wave one at that point. I'm just thinking if we could use that as a wave four, but it just really overlaps wave you know if that's wave one here then this really overlaps it so we can't get okay we can't do that we have to look at it in three waves i mean it would have made it easy for a bullish pattern if that was one and two and three and four and five um <clears throat> but even the a wave here is taken out wave one so we have to work with the threes there as well so i think that we can count five waves down here and this is the 50-60% retracement level, I'm looking at the move up here as an ABC pattern. So the A wave to that point, the B wave to that point, because I need to get five waves up from that point there. So that's a little bit short as one and two, and one, two, three, four, five correction, mm, probably a bit dodgy there. 
but even worse still an a wave can have three waves in it so i could put it there not that it matters too much we still end up with the b wave here and then we've got one here that would be wave one and two and it's probably one and two and one and two here unless yeah because that's corrective um so a bit hard to see in the gap here but obviously that's going to be the third wave and one of these little one two three fours here so i just think there's a little bit more upside to uh to come here i'm not quite sure how that will sort of play out but i do want to give it time you know to, to play out at that point point there and to see if that becomes you know a trade set up the long side or um uh, or, or finds it as the resistance at that point there's a possibility it can be this b wave top there as well but i don't need to go into that at the moment so friday we just i suppose that um the friday opening will be higher and then trade lower for the day that's kind of what we're looking at so on the <clears throat> next one on on facebook facebook's um Oh, that's interesting. That's open down there. Obviously, it's under <clears throat> a bit of pressure uh, for a few reasons. Um, but yeah, just further downside here. We know that coming into group one is, you know, it's normal and sort of typical of the market to bounce around as it enters into group one because the one, two and three are really strong numbers. So it just tends to bounce around a lot. Sometimes it's ju it just cuts through like a hot knife in butter, but um, most of the time you can expect it sort of to, especially coming down into it. When it's coming up, I, I really love trading long through, through one, two and three because it's slow it gives you a chance to build you know what you're looking for at the end of the day you're looking for that support on top of of group one the number three and then that will take you to number five you know that there'll be a correction there and eventually that will take you to group two and so on um so it's a good process but it's different coming down it's more it's more rugged it bounces around a lot it's faster um but anyway apart from that let's just uh move in here to the tick chart So, um, what do we need here? Two would be plenty. So, yes, once again here, the wave four still, this is, I mean, we've been stopped out because I didn't want to let it get away on us um, here. So, you know, I had to do something. I don't, just don't, nothing worse than a profit turning into a loss, you know. I don't mind if it's sort of early in the trend, but not after you've had the profit, you know. <clears throat> Still got to walk away with something. Um, so, yeah. Um, as you know, I was looking for one and two and three and four here. The four is really quite big and quite high. It's kind of okay. It hasn't really overlapped wave one. It's there. Um, didn't really finish off nicely in five waves here, so I'm not sure what all that's about. It looks like it's in three waves. Um, maybe wave four is going to get bigger as well. Maybe an A wave here and then an A and a B and a C wave here and then sort of move up again. But uh, yeah, see, so there's just not five waves in that move there. We've got one here. We've got a correction here. It's a bit, I can see we've got five waves in that move there, but that's a bit small for a third wave, isn't it? I'm not going to get away with that. Uh, could go one, two, three, four, five, mm, overlap. What does that leave us? Still doesn't leave us anywhere. So, yeah, a bit more of a corrective pattern here. So we'll just need to be a little bit careful. I, uh, I won't short that. Um, but, yeah, everything said and done. I'm still looking for another move down lower uh, here for this into group one at that point. <clears throat> Minor group one. So these are minor levels, minor level one, minor level two, minor level three, but makes up group one here. Uh, radio. So let's cruise into uh, Tesla. So, yeah, um, it does appear that we're going to be going higher. We've been talking about that a little bit. Um, it hasn't been the most perfect five wave structure to the upside. Um but yeah, I just wanted to see at the end of the day, I'm not interested in any of this. We've had our trades in all of this and uh, uh, we just need to wait and see how it's going to sit on this number 800 here. Okay, so I expect it to go higher 
Um, but then I want to see when it comes back down. Will it? Will it? I just, let's just let it vibrate here for a while, and and when it, when the dust settles, then we can pick it up for a long trade or a short trade. I don't have any. Um, I, I don't have any sort of strong opinion on on either direction. I do need to respect this uh, impulse wave over here, and I haven't seen it mirrored back over here yet and that's why I'm looking at this as a B wave up here coming back down for the C wave here um, obviously that will be on more of an angle uh, here this this took a long time to get up here this this B wave is really quite complex so what ha not normally happens that we normally think of wave two as being simple and wave four being complex and it's the guideline of alternation and you'll see it in corrections as well so if wave A is simple then expect wave B to be complex. Now wave C can be um, can be simple, so it can be simple, complex, simple, or a market can go simple, complex, and more complex. But in this case, it would be simple, I think, because if we had three waves here and it was simple, then we could look at this being complex and then we could look at the next one being complex if it was getting complex uh, in, in groups of three. So I think it will all be pretty sort of simple at this point. Um, it will also be the, the angle of this here is reasonably sharp. We'd want to see this one over here be on more of an angle like that. And that will help us to say that that's the personality of the structure. And it will tell me that <clears throat> it's reluctantly going down because it's on that sort of angle. So it will create a good buying opportunity at a, at a particular point when it's done its five waves down, um, if that's the case. I'm happy to go long if we get some sort of you know thing on here for this uh, and we can easily extend this up as well uh, we can just expand this wave structure to the upside i'm a conservative counter so i always look for the minimum uh, count uh, and then if it moves past that minimum then we move up to the next level i always take it one step at a time uh, not much to see on the tick chart with this but we'll have a little bit of a squizzy anyway it's um I'm still going to stay here with three and four here, and then I'm going to go one and two here, and three here and four here. And I could probably even, you know, what I probably should do here is actually put, um, change this here. And I suppose it makes them reasonably good too. I mean, I was thinking about putting wave three over here because I've never really counted that well in, in this little area through here so uh, but it's rather a big wave four compared to any wave two in here <clears throat> anyway i'm not that sort of fussed with it it is going to go higher and uh because we noted in here that this wasn't an impulse wave in here so it was more corrective of like a wave four so i'm just going to i'm just going to move that across here i think it's it could be even part of that Anyway, a bit more fluffing around with all of this. <clears throat> but we can expect it higher. I just want to get that first high in, and then I want to see it, see how it works from that point, you know. If we need to go long, we'll be going long up here for, for this. But it's definitely not, this is definitely not support yet. So going long here... Um, yeah, sure, you can make a little bit of money, but uh, you probably think that it's going to keep on going, you know, as, as one does. But uh, And it could be the case, but uh, normally we'll see some sort of vibration here. All of this consolidation in here makes really nice support for over here for this as well. You know, so if this becomes, if group two here becomes the resistance at this point here, it finds that consolidation there as, as the resistance at some point then it's going to move away from that number and that's one of the things that we'll be looking at uh, in due course Alrighty, i'll leave it at that thanks for tuning in cheers